Shannon, here to give you a quick overview on the SmartScope handheld digital microscope. It's great because you can use it in any classroom like a traditional microscope and view slides. But since it's handheld, you can take it a step further and really view anything you want to get a closer look at, like rocks, wood, and crystals like salt and sugar. The standard SmartScope includes the SmartScope, the stand, and a software site license that can be installed on any computer on campus and is compatible with both PCs and Macs. We also offer additional accessories that make the SmartScope even more versatile, as well as complete educational kits with curriculum. You can hook the SmartScope right up to your own computer and then project the images throughout the classroom, whether that's on a screen or an interactive whiteboard. The SmartScope is extremely easy to use. As you can see, there are three controls on the front. The top one takes a picture, the middle one controls the lighting, and your bottom dial is your focus dial. As you can see, no batteries required. This actually gets its power when you plug it into the USB port. Let's go ahead and get started. First, just double click on the image and that'll bring it into full screen mode. As I mentioned, you can use the smart scope like a traditional microscope. So let's start by taking a look at a B-Wing slide. You'll wanna make sure that the focus dial is turned all the way to the right before you place it on the slide. And then slowly turn it to the left. You can see the first time it comes into focus, we are at 100X magnification. And then you can continue to turn the dial to the left. And right there we have 200x magnification. You can even see the tiny little hairs on the B-Wing. And unlike a traditional microscope, you're not limited to just slides. You can really take a look at anything you've got in the classroom. Next, I wanted to show you traditional table salt. Like I mentioned, be sure you have the focus wheel turned all the way to the right, and then just place it directly on the salt. Slowly turn the wheel to the left. You'll see the salt come into focus right there at 100x and then you can continue to turn it and we can focus all the way in to 200x magnification. I'm actually going to take a picture right now. Remember that first button I showed you at the top? All you do is just click on that. It'll take a picture and then if you want to view your pictures, double click again to get out. And after you've viewed the photo, all you have to do is click on go back at the top and it will return you back to your live image. In addition to still photos, you can record videos, record time-lapse videos, compare two images side by side, and it even includes a measurement feature. The SmartScope is fun, it's easy to use, and most importantly, it gets students excited about learning.